The bricks were uh, brought up by train. They were also quarried locally. Um, so. Well, they were quarried here, but they were made into bricks in San Quentin at first. Or Folsom? Yeah, I think it was Folsom. And then they were brought back, so a lot of double. Back and forth. Uh, but this was a this was basically like a job core on steroids. <laughs> and they wanted a place where the boys could come, learn a trade, be away from the hardened criminals, and give them a chance to earn a stop and honest living. This was always intended to be kind of a reformatory, not necessarily a prison. They wanted to keep that stigma separate from uh, the castle. They wanted to have a boy come in, educate the boy part-time, have him learn a trade, and then release him back out into society after he had um, done his time for whatever crime he had committed. Uh, back in the 1890s, the crimes weren't quite what we consider a crime today. Uh, their crimes were more like one boy held up a saloon, another one had stolen a horse, um, one boy in the 1920s was put in here for insubordination, which we know is just bad, general bad well, behavior. Well, the first seven boys, one of them sold a dollar from his aunt, and the other one talked back to his mom. That was his only crime. Incorrigible. So, yeah. yes, incorrigible. So, in July <laughs> of um, 1894, the first seven boys came. Within several years, it grew to over 700, and so they had to move and grow out onto the property, as you saw, um, further down with the Honor Cottage and some of the other little cottages. Hello, Jesse. Hello. Okay, our daughter is already drinking. Hey, Anna. So, yeah. Did you guys put a sealer on this? Um, no. That is that not. I saw original patina. <laughs> that would have been uh, classic lead paint that uh, oh, contracted and expanded. No, no. It was contracted and uh, expanding over the years, mm -hmm. and it naturally caused the cracks. This room right here. No, but it, it, what I'm saying nice. is that it looks. It looks because originally it was. Uh, a hardwood that would have been like a uh, nicely stained. So this front area that you're walking through is the administrative section of the castle. So you have a lot of offices uh, throughout this front area. As we go down the annex, which we're not going down yet, that area was built about four years after the castle was built, and it was built primarily for the housing and care of the boys. Okay, Timmy. That's not, that's four years, dude. How about you take this video? This is where the staff would take their meals. Uh, this is, the boys would assist the staff. So you would have boys waiting on each of the corners of the room, ready to serve the staff. They would go to that dumb waiter there. Directly below us is the staff kitchen. The food would come up, the boy would grab the food, and then he would serve it to the staff member that is, um, would sit here at the table. There is a demonstration picture right there on the wall, if you wanted to. Well, this was a 100 plus year old chair. <gasps> I didn't do it. Don't do that. This so here at Preston, we up until the hospital opened up in Jackson, we had local townspeople come and use the uh, services here at the council as well. So Tim and I disagree when the hospital was opened up and we didn't double check. The summer uh, in the I, do know, 50s. I do know in 1938, this here was the basically dining room for the boys. We got some pictures here. With the legs coming out of the window. Have you seen that one? And a face. I think it's the fourth floor. You've seen the one with the legs coming out the window. Oh, the legs downstairs. Yeah. I've seen that. In the that. basement. I haven't seen the cutout, not the window. I've seen from photos, I've seen orbs in these, but because of the, the dust, it's very hard to. Um, I've gotten to from this room. I've gotten voice boxes from this room. You know, think how many times this building like shape shape shifted so many different times. Yeah. How much they added, took away, added, took away. Uh -huh.
I mean, the library is a perfect example. They found that wall right behind you. Exactly. Yeah. Do you want some back crap? Yeah. That's a serious mound. Yeah, wow. You got, you got a serious infestation of bats. Oh, poor Sally. But yeah. it's that time they all probably scattered out of here by now. They'll oh, we'll have bats. They'll be back in the morning. They'll be back. They come back in the evening. See the mound? They were flying around there last week. I thought she was going to cry. Why'd they broke down? It was for a Inside of this room over here, this was their first company A before that annex from company B as now was built. This was the old dormitory. Cubicles over there is where the boys would keep their personal belongings inside there. This is my favorite floor of all because of the temperature. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's all of ours. <laughs> In here was where the tailor would be. When a boy was about two weeks away from being paroled, he'd come down here and the tailor would take his measurements and, and make him a, a handmade suit. Everything was prepared here on grounds, from food to shoes to clothes to you name it, it was all made on, on premises. So they would give him his, they, two pairs of shoes and a suit on his, on his way out. And uh, how much in change? Uh, basically, whatever they earned while they were time here. So depending on how many chores they did for local farmers, ranchers, they would pay a certain portion, pennies on the dollar, and the school would set it aside so when they left, they would have something outside. Plus they have a bus ticket to whatever town they came from. Mm. Uh, and that, out, that door right there was where they leave. Hmm. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, there was nobody on the other side of that door waiting for them. They were just yeah. free. Yeah, that's a, one of the reasons why they give them a bus ticket, because they wouldn't want them released into town and with no place to go. I mean, right. yeah, it's a they small didn't town. Want, yeah, they didn't want them wandering around. So where does the hunting come from? Like, did some of the boys die here, or does yeah, anybody well, know? Yeah, the boys died here on, on the, the 19th, yes. or on the grounds. But the thing is, when you die, the first place you're going to go is somewhere familiar. And this is where they knew. You're not going to hang out outside. What's the point? There's nothing there. Right. You're going to gravitate to what's left standing. You're not going to go to a new facility. That's, they don't know. They've never seen that before. They come here, they're like, hey, I used to sleep right here. <laughs> yeah. This was a time in their life where there was a lot of trauma. Yeah. Right? Going, you know, passing away, that spirit it might be stuck in that and not be able to free himself. And some of the people die in the hospital ward had TB or flu or. Oh, there yeah. There's a lot of kids that died on the, on yeah, the planet. Yeah. So, do you guys have a rough estimate of how many people died land? here? Not on the people who died from medically and not on the people that died that they covered up. Uh -huh. We only know the ones that we have graves for. Okay. And that's our 19? Yeah, those are the ones that weren't cl claimed by their family members. So people that died that were claimed by their family members were not... They're so there's not many more than what is known. Well, yeah, I mean, you go through and you'll find people died of flu, died of this. They were still here. They still died here. Have you tried this? Anyone try to... Count it? Yeah, figure well, out. Well, you can go through the book. I mean, you have to go through every page. And <laughs> there may be like four people per hundred... Because uh, there may be a hundred names on each page. There may be four people, five people, maybe one person a page. Maybe a couple pages, there's only one. There's some um, say missing as well. There, yeah. There's uh, about five or six. How many murders are there assumed to be? There's uh, they, two. I thought there's two or three confirmed. Is that including Anna Corbin? Or well, is that just Widen. You're not being specific though with how many murders. No, <laughs> confirmed. Anna. Jay? Confirmed. Children. Oh. Well, children. those are no. There's no confirmed murders of children there because when if you beat somebody or if you something happened to a kid, 
The kid died in the flu. No, no. no. This is run by the state. Yeah. yeah. The state, even nowadays, if yeah. somebody back in the day, kids were beaten. No. It was, it was a, not a nice place to be. They're not going to come out and say, "Yeah, you know, we whooped the crap out of him." And so he didn't there's make no it. way to tell yeah. if anybody died from the beatings, or if there were how many. There were periods when there were no beatings at all. There were periods when they did no discipline on the boys, and then there were periods when there was extreme. But then there were periods where boys, during a period of time when they had the boys police themselves, where boys were beating up on other boys. Yeah. But you know what, I don't even know that they admitted Samuel Boyd, because the, yeah. the gentleman who didn't shoot him but did, claimed he was shooting not to, not to hit him, but you know, just a warning shot. So. He, he died climbing over a fence. The fence just happened to be a chicken wire fence two feet off the ground. Oh God. <laughs> but, but in the guards defense, Samuel Boyd said, the only way you can come back to Preston Castle is if they dragged his dead body. Mm. 